Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for watching Beyond Science 2. I'm Mike Chen. We can often find direct translations of words from other languages, but sometimes translations just don't work out. In fact, many words in the world can't be simply translated into English. I mean, they can, but it wouldn't make much sense. For example, in Chinese, the word chi can be directly translated into yeet, but the word xiao chi, which literally means small yeet, but its real meaning is something that's halfway between a snack and a meal. And these words that cannot directly translate into English are often times very beautiful. So here are some super cool untranslatable words that the English language should consider stealing. Number 10, saudade. Saudade is a Portuguese word that refers to the feeling of longing for something or someone that you love and which is lost. We can't translate this word directly into an English word like longing because that makes the word lose some of its meaning. Because saudade is the longing of something that you love and is no longer with you. There's also a type of Portuguese music that relates to this kind of feeling. This type of music usually portrays one's sorrow for something permanently lost. In this country, we call it country music. Because you guys know what happens when you play a country song backwards, right? You get your wife back, you get your dog back, you get your truck back. I just want to say, I actually love country music. Garth Brooks, best ever. Number 9, Yaburni. Yaburni is a bittersweet word that's beautiful in its own sense. The word is Arabic, and the literal translation means you bury me. It shows one's hope to die before another person, or for one's loved one to outlive you because it's just too painful to live without them. It shows a great love that the person has for his or her other half, and it's like the gorgeous way of saying, please murder me before you die so I don't have to live without you. Number 8, Wabi Sabi. That's kind of a funny sounding word, right? This is of course of Japanese origin and it has nothing to do with the spicy green sauce that you get at sushi restaurants. This word actually translates into a way of living that focuses on finding beauty within the imperfections of life and accepting peacefully the natural cycle of growth and decay. Unlike its cousin wasabi, this word is very beautiful and not spicy at all and it teaches an important lesson, find beauty in your own flaws and you will be able to be happy and accept yourself and the people around you. Number 7, cafune. This word is Brazilian Portuguese and means the act of tenderly running one's fingers through someone's hair. Just reading that description makes me feel good because if you guys don't know, having someone just run their fingers through your hair when you're just like sitting out in a, on, a, on a nice grassy field with a nice pit, anyway, um, it, it's nice. So the next time you want someone to do that to you, you can just simply say kafune instead of Hey, can you please tenderly run your fingers through my hair? Because that would typically just make someone feel really uncomfortable. Number 6, JS. You've probably all experienced this, someone telling a joke that's not so funny and you end up laughing anyway. Well, there's a word for that and it's actually an Indonesian slang. It refers to someone who tells a joke so unfunny you can't help laughing. So after my last country song joke, you could say, Mike thinks we're laughing because he's hilarious, not because he's a JS. Number 5, Hanyaku. Why does this word even exist? And who created this word? Because I need to give them a bouquet of flowers and thank them from the bottom of my heart. This word is actually a Bantu language spoken by some 85,000 people in South Africa. It means the act of walking on tiptoes across warm sand. How beautiful can a word get? In English, we have words like YOLO and swagger, but they have a word that describes a person walking across warm sand on tiptoes. I mean, I can swagger across the sand too, but that's just like, you know, way less beautiful. Number four, torch lesbonic. This one is a word that can accurately describe how I feel as the days move by so quickly. This German word means the anxious, claustrophobic feeling that opportunities and options are shutting down. You have missed a boat. You have to get a grip. You are getting too old. It's the feeling you get when everything seems like it's going to crawl away from your grasp and escape your life. That you are going to miss out on some great things. Anyone else feel like this all the time or is it just me? Number 3, Litos. Litos is a Czech word that many people will feel when they view social media like Facebook and Instagram these days. It basically means the humiliated despair we feel when someone accidentally reminds us through their accomplishments of everything that has gone wrong in our own lives. When everyone else's lives look picture perfect, we like to convince ourselves that our own lives aren't worth living. Some people even become depressed due to this. 
Well, now you know there's an actual word for the kind of feeling when you see your old high school friend on Facebook getting into an Ivy League college and then becoming successful in all aspects of his or her life. Lee Toast. Number two, turtle. This is a Scottish word that refers to the moment when you forget someone's name. This happens to me like every single day. And then you probably very awkwardly proceed to say something like, Hey man, what's, what's up? Or, hey dude, how's it going? Without mentioning the name of the other person because, well, we don't know their names. And I hate it when you enter a new situation where there's a group of people and someone has the great idea of, let's go around and introduce ourselves like anybody could ever remember everyone's name. I mean, if you could, that's awesome, you're a genius, but I, I can't, I just stick with man, dude, hey you. Okay, this next one is it's really difficult. Verschlimpfen. This is a German word that means to accidentally make something worse in the process of attempting to mend or improve it. This can be applied to all aspects of life, from relationships to cooking to the little things in life. I think we can all admit that this has happened to all of us. Although this word is a simplified way of saying you made the situation worse when you try to fix it, it's also a very hard word to pronounce, so maybe you're better off just saying the entire thing in English. Alright, there you go guys, those are some awesome foreign words that you can't directly translate into English. Of course, some of these are hauntingly beautiful like Saudad, and some of them are really useful when you are tiptoeing across sand. And I'm sorry if I butchered some of these words, well actually I'm, I'm sure I butchered some of these words, but I'm sorry I tried my best, but these are some words I thought were pretty cool and wanted to share with you guys. So thank you all so much for watching this video. And don't forget, Beyond Science 2 has its own Instagram page where almost daily we're going to be putting up really interesting facts for you all. So please follow along with that. I would really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.